Hey everyone, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I want to introduce you to a free uh, design to print plugin from Adobe. Um, I've been using this plugin for some time and it's really great. What it is, is uh, it allows me to create my artwork and, um, and upload directly from Photoshop to my Zazzle store. Um, it's a great uh, plug, uh, plugin to use, it's very easy, very simple. So I'm just going to take you to um, in this video how to use that plugin. I will place the link to download the plugin. Um, it's very easy. Um, I simply downloaded the file, and if you have uh, Adobe Creative Cloud app, it'll automatically detect it and install it for you. Firstly, you need a Zazzle store. It's a uh, it's free to get. So what's the Zazzle store? So we can uh, if you go to zazzle.com. Basically, what it is is just, it's a um, online store that allows you uh, to sell your graphics, um, your designs, photography, or anything you want on on hundreds of different products. This is my store. I would love to see your store, so please uh, comment below, and put place a link to your store, and um, I'd like to check it out. So once you've downloaded the app um, onto your uh, um, machine and it um, um, installs it's very easy to, um, to start the designing so let me show you how that works to open the the plugin you just go to windows extensions adobe design to print this is it here i'm going to click on create print project and these are all the uh, templates or products you're allowed to put your uh, images on there's hundreds of it for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go to men's um, t-shirts. So I'm going to go clothing and shoes, men's. Scroll down here. I'm just going to choose the basic. Now, I'm just going to use the basic information. This is what I always done. Uh, the color, you can choose whatever color you want as the default. I'm just going to go with ash gray. and It actually changes in, in, the, in the preview. The size. Um, Look, I'm, you can choose any size you want really. I'm going to choose medium. And then you can choose the style. You can choose basic tee in a long black American apparel fleece and all sorts. So I'm just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go basic t shirt and click on create. Now, the only thing I found with this plugin is it, it can be quite slow. Um, I'll show you where the slow comes. Seeing that bit there, that preview bit there, it creates a layer um, for you, the back uh, of the T-shirt here, and uh, the front. So here's the preview section, the panel here. Now to get started, uh, I'm going to choose the front. So I'm going to choose here the front uh, under this group one. Um, uh, you can you can you can actually rename it to anything you want really, but I'm just going to leave it as is. I want to uh, click and drag a um, design in there. So I've got a design here. I'm just going to click and drag this in here, drop it in here. Click the tick button. And now what will happen is the preview here will update. Now, this is where the slow sometimes becomes. You can move this around. And what it does is each time you make a change in the, in the layers, it will update the preview as well. Now, as you can see, I got nothing in the back, but if I wanted something in the back, I can just duplicate this or drag another image, a different um, design in there and place it in the back. And now this should update as well. Like I said, it, it just takes a while to update. So here's the front now and the back. I can choose any of these to be my default image before I publish it um, to my uh, Zazzle store. But for now, I'm just gonna remove um, the back uh, image. It's now in the process of updating. So there it is, it's gone now. Once you're happy with your design, um, for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna rush through it. You click on publish. And then this here, I always choose flatten image upload and then click on okay. Now it'll open up your default browser. And there it is there. Um, ready to uh, ready to for you to do the rest of the um, um, I guess um, pr uh, process to, to sell it so now all you do is you click on sell it 
and I won't go through this process but you simply just add in your title description uh, tags um, the royalty information and then I choose the um, I have the right to you know to sell this image and then click on post it and then what it does it'll add it to your store it'll take a couple of minutes but it'll add it to your store well that's it guys that's how simple it is to use this uh, this plugin you can try many new uh, different plugins and go to a new project and start a new a new um, a new product to add your design to uh, it could be look, if you want a stationary it could be a greeting card you can you know um, choose the, the shape rounded or envelope colors it's only one and the type of paper mat only one and then click OK and there we go just uh, command minus uh, on the Mac just to bring it down a bit so it fits in the screen a little bit and again you just click and drag it into the uh, um, into the uh, template your artwork you can command T to resize it you can drop it in into any uh, you know move it across to any of the uh, uh, I guess layers you want or uh, artboards now you can use any uh, image format JPEG PNG even a PSD file you can drop in your Photoshop file directly into it that's it guys I hope you got something out of it um, I hope you you start using this. this is a great little plugin it'll hopefully encourage you to sell your uh, products online I would like I said I would love to see your store so please drop your link uh, in the um, description section I will place all the links for the plugin including my store in the description section so check it out um, if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing to my channel thanks for watching